All right, guys, just real quick. This is kind of random, not something I do very often. Haven't done it in a long time, but we're going to make some wine. Let's fix this here. We're going to make some wine, so I'm going to take you guys in and show you the process. I don't know if I'm going to do it right away, but we'll see what happens. First of all, you got to have a little bit of fun. Here's all of our material. There's only about half of what we have so far. Blackberries that I picked. These are blueberries we got from a, a friend. And then we're going to do some Welch's strawberry juice with blackberries. And PBR. Over here we got, and PBR. And these are going to be the carboys that they actually ferment in, but now we're sterilizing the pails. So hopefully you guys can hear us over the music. But that's what we're doing right now is sterilizing. We're going to do three batches right now. I just want to get them gaskets real good. So we'll catch you guys back and we'll start mixing stuff. All right, so everything sterilized. Now we're on to our first step. We're going to add eight pounds of sugar per uh, per, per um, pail if the dog would put one in. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, we're moving along. Then we're going to go ahead and put water in, get the water and the uh, sugar dissolved together, and then we'll start adding ingredients. Okay, so what we're doing here is putting in our first small batch of water, just enough to get the uh, sugar to um, dissolve, basically. And uh, our little Mexican friend here is stirring. <laughs> so once we get that all stirred up, then we can go ahead and start adding our other ingredients. And like we were just talking, we've got cold berries, but hot water. So we're probably gonna let it sit overnight before we put the yeast in, because the yeast has to be like a room temperature. And we don't want to go uh, too cold extreme or too hot extreme. So... You have a thermometer on the side of the bucket. Right, we have a thermometer that we're gonna put on the side of the bucket to check what the, uh, check what the temperature is to make sure that we're within the range or whatever. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. We'll start adding ingredients here pretty soon. Alright, so these are the huckleberries that I, or the blackberries I picked this year. So we're gonna do six full quart bags for one batch. It's gonna be straight blackberry. And these are what we're giving to us by a friend. These are about four quarts of blueberries, and then we're gonna add another three pints of huckleberries that were all picked from his place. So that'll be kind of special or whatever. And then down here is just kind of our oddball. I got about two and a half, well, three and a half quarts of blackberry. And then we're gonna use some Welch's. Uh, strawberry breeze, which is a strawberry pineapple mix. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully that'll be enough, and hopefully they'll all taste good. But it's kind of a variety. Blueberries. Now we're gonna put the blackberries in, or vice versa. Tell you guys, it's a bad idea. Corey, I don't see the light. Just the button turns different. Okay, the, yeah, yeah, right here. These are the RIC. Oh no, I don't, that. I don't see that. I'm blind. <laughs> all right, so now we're pouring in our uh, berries. These are the blueberries. Those are the blue the huckleberries in. Yeah, blueberries and huckleberries are a combination. So that is a bad idea. I'm all about here with you. This is what here. This is what family's all about right here. So it should end up with uh, about 18 gallons. Yeah. Oh, you guys are doing a surprise pack now. Hey, now. I'm false in this because it's secret. Nice to be. Here we go. So that's all the berries. Now we can start with the ingredients. Alright, now we can do the ingredients after this. We'll be back. That's, that's not all I got. Alright, so. I need your half again, though. Yeah, I, I leave it out right here. Corey, you in there, right? Mm hmm. You good? You're, you're, on, you're, on, you're live, dude. You're yeah, live. You no, know, we're on live. And just, yeah, you just want to go to level, too. Okay, you get the half? So, how many is that? That's what, three? Two. Okay, two and a half. Why don't we put cocaine or wine? Because it's good. Dude. Yeah, because that's what we should do. party. <laughs> That's a pectic? Yep. I'm gonna do the half on both of these, man. There's two on each. Ready? What? Why are you shaking? Mm hmm? It's Excited? See, I was. I, just, I had three teaspoons written down, but I, I might have maybe it was tablespoons, too. What do we got left? Just acid blue, right? So we got five cannon tablets in each. And no need yeast nutrient too. So we got five cannon tablets. Oh, I gotta take this. I 
actually takes quite a little bit, you know. Make sure they're full. Corey, what are you doing? Yep. Tr trying to level them, man. No, I went oh, over. It's already two and a half. I went over on the first one a little bit. Oh. The second one was a little narrow. Okay. okay. So now we got our pipe to enzyme. And we need to go on to acid and these nutrient. Okay? Yep. And we'll be done. Need five, right? Or six, you don't wanna you don't want a two acidity, right? No. Right. If they're big ones put five, if they're small ones put six, if they're level. Corey, what are you doing? Yep. This is gonna be so yummy. So you need another one? That's your acid blend, honey. Yep. Perfect. That's six for this first bucket. Oh. You don't have any more jars, right? Looks weird. This is the acid blend? Yep, three. Yeah, there's six. Four. Seven, three, nine, seven. Yeah, thirteen. Wait, how many are we doing? Nine, 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 seven. That's why you don't do this stuff drinking, folks. Eleven teen. Okay. So, so, got left. so there's sixty in that one, that's what you wanted, right? Do like a seven eleven dude. <laughs> we need Is it ready yet? We drink it? We did the pantic already, right? So yeah. Now we need yeast nutrient. Now all we need is a time machine to fast forward. We probably should at least snort one line of it tonight. Or a shot, I'd say. Alright, that's it. This is the yeast nutrient. It says one teaspoon per gallon, so we're going to do five teaspoons per five gallons. Feed the yeast. Some of them are a little bit more, five and a half to six gallons, but they're more five and a half. What am I just for? Yes. That should be it for nutrient or for uh, ingredients other than the actual yeast. We're going to go ahead and get a temperature and then we're going to go ahead and put the yeast in and set them in their final resting spot for 30 days or whatever it takes. Okay, what's the date today? Okay. Alright guys, here's our last step. We put the uh, Lalvin uh, wine yeast in there. Made in Canada, evidently. And we put them in a safe spot where they're not going to get bumped into or moved or whatever like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, little air filters, water filters, percolators, whatever you wanna call them. We're gonna put those on top and then we're just gonna let them sit. So they're all sealed. They all have a gasket on the rim of the bucket. So that's pretty much it for now. So we'll see you guys back. Uh, probably gonna be a while, at least 30 days, maybe when they're bottled. And these are your, these are your, go ahead. Yeah, these are your air locks, so you can't get contaminants back into it. You got water in here and the, and the Carbon dioxide it creates can only come out. Right. So, so you can allow air out, but you can't let anything no contaminants contain. in. Right. Yep. That's all. That's all been uh, uh, sterilized, except for the water, obviously. But the water is already sterile. So everything's been cleaned.